Hello, everybody. Uh, I've got three things that I wanted to put forward. Uh, you may have noticed in the uh, in my YouTube channel that I have posted little links uh, up near the channel art for Twitter and Facebook. It's actually been there a few weeks. Um, my thoughts on this were if you wanted another way of keeping track without having to video or uh, visit YouTube that uh, you could follow the Twitter account or you could use the Facebook and here we have a little a look of uh, what I've been posting here um, this can be anything from a staging area as to what I might be doing for the videos coming up and it's also possibly sales or new products or items I have a little bit of an obsession of checking about 15 different websites um, kind of multiple times a day and if I find something interesting uh, I'd post it there and I post it there for my own reasons as well because what I found what I was doing was keeping track of it, uh, in uh, Google Keep um, if you're not familiar with that it's pretty cool online note tracking um, so I thought this might be useful for others out there as well and Facebook is probably going to be a replica of the same sort of stuff um, you might say you can catch a sneak peek if you would prefer to use uh, Facebook to even view the YouTube videos you can do that as well but I thought that these were two areas that I could use to post uh, information I think might be useful or you might want to be aware of without having to make a video about it so use that for as uh, you wish um, if you have suggestions of how I might be able to further utilize those to benefit uh, yourself or others please let me know I am really open to suggestions um, I actually back when Facebook went first went public after it left the dot uh, edu space um, I joined Facebook I'm I'm kind of an older techie and uh, I got really irritated with Facebook because their security uh, settings kept changing and it seemed as though they kept changing because they wanted to be able to gather more data about us and then sell that on therefore making themselves profitable and I had a, a, a problem with that um, even though you know I was using their service for free um, and so I kind of abandoned using Facebook so I'm not a great Facebook user my wife tends to keep me up to date on what's going on on Facebook uh, I do use Twitter quite a bit for professional purposes and um, I use it kind of almost like a news aggregator, but I'm very open to suggestions for how you all might want to see it used. Um, and uh, the second thing that I wanted to bring forward was I did take down the video of the uh, Taro TL-130H1, which is the 135 millimeter brushless. Um, I thought it was bad form on my part to put that up without giving Banggood really adequate time to try to resolve that. Um, so I've taken it back down for now, and I'll probably rework that once I have a, a, a new unit. Hopefully I have a new unit. Um, I've got a little bit of dialogue so far, but with the, you know, the time difference, um, it's very disjointed, that communication. Um, and the third thing is, what do you want to see? Um, if you were making videos or maybe you even have your own YouTube channel and you have some things that you are looking at doing but maybe you're thinking eh, I'm not gonna do it, it doesn't really fit but it might fit this channel you know I'm kind of a micro backyard flyer sort of guy um, let me know something that I've been eyeballing and doing a lot of research is uh, finding another frame that is uh, you know 130 maybe 150 brushless frame um, that I can build out. I've looked at a lot of different ones over the last couple of weeks. The Shrieker looks interesting. I'm not really a fan of the, the kind of the Ninja Star look of the frame, but I like how they des have designed it in order to make everything work. I saw one the other day um, that was by a lady who was featured on the uh, Drone Racing League's um, videos. Uh, she's She has a mobility issue, so she took to uh, quad racing. Um, and she's designed her own frame with the help of others, which looked really interesting. But I, I really didn't care for how you had to mount the ESCs. You had to put the ESCs on the bottom. So therefore, you had to put the battery on the bottom. And it was a little bit of a pod. Um, although that was that's still interesting. So if you've got something that you would like to see built or even a whole item, um, I'm open to that. You know, the, the pocketbook isn't endless on these things, of course. Uh, it kind of seems like just this hobby in general is kind of a bank drainer. Um, 
especially because I'm checking for new products all the time. Something else I'm looking forward to that maybe you all can help or forward to. Something I'm looking for that maybe you all can help me with and I'm just not searching correctly is I was looking for a flight control board that does not require a power distribution board. So I'm looking for something that I can connect my battery and my ESCs and my motors directly to. Um, and I really think if I can find something like that, that the options for um, micro brushless builds really start to open up. And for those of you that might be thinking I've left the brush space, I haven't. Uh, I've actually got some new parts sitting here on my desk. Um, and I just need to get my act together and get them done. I've actually found some new brushed motors that are kind of a premium and I've also found some very budget friendly brush motors so I'm working on testing those out and I've got some new props that are one millimeter shaft props um, that are very interesting to me um, I hope they work out well so far I haven't even uh, got taken them out for a fly yet so I haven't left that space I'm still the micro backyard flyer sort of person uh, I do have some goggles coming that are kind of very budget friendly I've always been looking for something budget friendly to have as passenger goggles. All three of my kids love to uh, look through the goggles. So if you can help me find a flight control board that doesn't require a PDB, if you help, can help me find a unique or interesting uh, frame for brushless that's somewhere, you know, anywhere from 100 millimeters to 150 millimeters, I'd like to stay on the smaller side of that, but um, I'm open to that. And if you have any suggestions on how I might be able to use Twitter or Facebook to best suit you, please let me know. Um, I would like to keep kind of the Q&A or questions and answers that we all participate in um, over on the YouTube side of things so that that knowledge can be um, easily distributable and, and, and probably indexable by Google, quite frankly. It would probably turn up a YouTube chat faster than it would turn up Twitter or Facebook, but I don't know. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I know it's been a little bit slow, but it's summertime and the family is, uh, all the activities are a flurry, but I, I do still every day. I look for new things to do because I think this is a lot of fun and I enjoy new things quite a bit. Thanks for watching.